Hi, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Today I want to talk about a very, very powerful plant nutrient. It's a powerful antioxidant found in most of the common fruits and vegetables that we eat on a daily basis. But the, the point is when you put the science behind why we do what we do, you realize that there is so much of medicine in fruits, in vegetables, in nuts and seeds and whatever nature has given us. Of course, nature gives us poison in certain fruits and plants and mushrooms and stuff. But the beauty of science is it's able to be studied further and that information and knowledge is able to be learned and shared with us. So much that people didn't have access to this 20 years ago. But today with the internet, with social media, with good science, we know that there is wisdom in food. And while you may be you know, constantly confused by extreme diets telling you not to eat fruits, this is not necessary, that is not necessary, I get confused myself sometimes. But the point is, take two steps back. What are your body goals? What are your health goals? What do you want to achieve out of your body? What does your body need in terms of nutrients, in terms of exercise and sleep, emotional wellness, relationships? Okay, that's what the most important part of human health is. Taking an extreme diet is not ever necessary unless you have a medical condition that requires an extreme approach. But you need to understand that nature has given us certain things. They have properties. How can they make a difference in my life? If it makes sense to you, go ahead and do it. The antioxidant I'm talking about today is something called lycopene. Lycopene is found in your colored vegetables. It gives the pink color to watermelon. It gives the red color to tomatoes. And it is super powerful. So much that science has even made statements and claims that it plays a massive role in the possible prevention of mainly lung cancers, prostate cancers, breast cancers, colon cancers. And in case someone has cancer, adding lycopene through natural foods in the diet can also slow down the growth rate of tumors. Now, I'm not here to tell you that lycopene is the only thing. Cancer is a multifactorial disease. There are many things. You, can't, you can go on eating tomatoes all day, but you can still get cancer or your cancer won't get better if you are not looking at the disease with a holistic approach. You know, other foods, other nutrients. Lycopene is one of them. It's a powerful antioxidant. Why are antioxidants required in the human body? Everyone's talking about antioxidants today because we have free radicals in our body, too many. We already have antioxidants which within us which are meant to neutralize free radicals that if not neutralized, they create inflammation. We know that inflammation out of control, we've seen it happen through the COVID, we've seen it happen with cancers, Alzheimer's, cardiovascular diseases way before COVID. Inflammation out of control is your death sentence. It begins as a death sentence. I'm not here to scare you, but that is the truth. Medicine talks about it that way. Science talks about it that way. Lifestyle talks about it that way. We need to control inflammation. Now we get free radicals in our body. It's created through our poor food choices, junk and sugar, pollution, cosmetics that are filled with chemicals, too much of stress, side effects of certain medications, which is why when you're on medication, take it if your doctor told you to take it, but you've got to learn how to manage the side effects of the medication before it creates another problem in your, in your body. So today we're taking out lycopene and we are breaking it down to show you the foods that have it. And if you are doing this, you don't need lycopene supplements or anything like that because if you're eating a balanced diet, you will get it from the foods that you eat. So because it's a powerful antioxidant, we know in most Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, you know, memory loss, there is inflammation in the brain that causes brain cell death or the slowdown of brain cell death. Why do they tell you not to drink too much of alcohol? Because the, co the, the more you drink alcohol, it slows down your brain cells. It's as simple as that. You may not feel the effect today, but cumulatively it builds up, it compounds. The effect of too much of alcohol compounds over the years and so does smoking and sugar and everything else. So we need to understand there is balance and there is, fine, you may enjoy a dessert here and there, that's normal. No one got sick by eating desserts, okay? But by overdoing it and not giving themselves a wholesome diet. So you may create a little bit of inflammation, but if I'm having a balanced diet with antioxidants, I can neutralize it. So. What I really like about this, because we use a lot, a lot of lycopene rich foods, especially in our lung cancer patients, prostate, and of course, people who come to us for prevention, because it is scientifically recorded that it plays a role in prevention and it plays a role in reducing your risk by almost 40 to 50%, especially in prostate and lung cancers. 
Lycopene has other functions besides uh, being an antioxidant. It's great for your eye health. It is great to protect you from sunburn. There are beautiful studies that have come in that showing that people who suffer from sunburn or are prone to sunburn, increasing lycopene in their diets can actually help them with that. It helps you to protect your brain and it is great for bone health. So now, where do we find lycopene? Do you need to go out there and spend a lot of money on superfoods and all of that stuff? Absolutely not. One of the richest sources are tomatoes. Okay, now very few people, or I shouldn't say very few, people who cannot eat nightshade vegetables because they have autoimmune conditions, and not everyone who has an autoimmune condition should stay away from it, only it affects you. Some people who have gut issues or severe dysbiosis of the gut may be requested to stay off nightshade vegetables, and then you can't do tomato, but that's not all. You get it in watermelon a fruit that grows abundantly across our country. Uh, the, the, pig, the, the, the pink part of the watermelon, the pigment comes from lycopene. You find it in grapefruit, you find it in sun-dried tomatoes, you find it in guava. So guava is a fruit that grows abundantly, abundantly. You know, once I was consulting with a client in Mumbai and I recommended her to have guava. And she said, oh, that's a poor man's fruit. I said, what do you mean by that? She's saying, oh, you see, you know, they sell it on the carts and all these laborers eat guava. And I said, you know what? Half those laborers out there don't even have half the medical conditions that y'all have with all your fancy diets and your urban life. Okay, just because it's a poor man's fruit doesn't mean it's good for us. And guava is rich in vitamin C and rich in lycopene helping you with prevention and possible recovery of the ailments that you have. So if you can't have tomato, you can have guava. You find it in small quantities in papaya and you find it in sweet peppers as well, your red bell peppers as well. So now let's say that you can have tomatoes. You need to understand something very important about lycopene. It gets enhanced and absorption is better when it's cooked. So you want to be making a tomato soup. You want to be using tomatoes in your curry and your vegetables. Cook it because the heat breaks the cell walls that allows the lycopene to come out and get better absorbed into your gut. So yes, cooked tomatoes is way healthier than raw tomatoes. Cooked tomatoes will be way healthier than your glass of raw tomato juice. So you see, this is the beauty of food wisdom and synergy. Some fruits and vegetables, some vegetables work better with heat. Some work better when they're ingested raw. So you have to understand food synergy to see how food works with wisdom in the human body. And that's it when it comes to lycopene. So like every day, almost every single day, dinner time for me has a bowl of tomato soup. That's the base. Now I can add pumpkin, I can add bell peppers, I can add mushrooms, that's the base. The base is tomato because yes, I wanna look after my prostate. My dad has an enlarged prostate, he's been looking after it. I wanna be careful as well, so I have lycopene which I know is great for the prostate along with lifestyle. But the beauty is, if I don't have a tomato soup, I'll make sure that there are tomatoes in my vegetable, there are tomatoes in my dals, and my lentils. You can add tomatoes to everything. I make sure that I rotate between fruits, so if it's watermelon season, I'm gonna have a lot of watermelon. Okay, so the whole point is when you have a balanced diet, you're able to get all of these colored foods, and that's why I insist and encourage children and parents to make sure that your plate looks like a rainbow. When it looks like a rainbow, all those colors that you see, you are getting a tremendous source of flavanols, you're getting uh, polyphenols, you're getting antioxidants, you're getting quercetin, all of these little micronutrients that are so powerful, so powerful. Guess what? Pharmaceuticals use micronutrients in a lot, a lot of their drugs as well, and so do nutraceuticals. But if I can get it from my food as a first option, why not? What I'm telling you today is not to replace any of your treatments, it's to make your health better. It's to invest in prevention. So simple foods like this go a long way. There are beautiful studies that come from Italy. Italy has a lot of pastas and most of their pastas are tomato-based sauce. They put a lot of love in making that perfect tomato sauce. No, they won't use ketchups. They won't use ready-made stuff. They will make a concast of the tomatoes. They will boil it. They will they will crush it, they will mix it with their garlic and ginger. They put a lot of love in that sauce and that sauce has now been studied today scientifically to show how heart rate and heart diseases were once controlled in Italy until all of the lifestyles changed and all of the foods with preservatives then replaced the natural tomatoes. So there's a lot of wisdom in Indian food and all cuisines. Make sure you use it, you add it to your diet. It is absolutely fantastic for you and there are different foods that you can get it from. I'll repeat it again, tomatoes, you can get it from cooked tomatoes, you can get it from watermelon, pink grapefruit, which sometimes we get it in our country, sun-dried tomatoes, but be careful. When you buy sun-dried tomatoes from outside, they put a lot of salt in, a lot of sodium. So that kind of negates the effect overall, so you just wanna 
you know, be with your fresh tomatoes. Papaya, guava, and sweet peppers. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep. And remember, you care is all about you.